This show is brought to you by iRacing.com, where you can get two free months with the purchase of one for only $12 by going to iRacing.com forward slash membership. Welcome to our first look at the AccuForce wheel that's being developed by Sim Experience. If you're not familiar with Sim Experience, they came on the scene about six years ago with their motion kits and racing simulators. Then came Sim Vibe and the GS4 seat. Now comes the new AccuForce wheel. Part of the reason for the AccuForce was to come up with a bulletproof solution that will outperform the competition. Are they on the right track? We're going to tell you right here. Well, first up, the wheel we tried out was still a prototype, so it didn't have an enclosure, it didn't have buttons, and it didn't have paddle shifters, which are all planned for the wheel. Wait, and the enclosure, that was the word I was looking for. And But what it did have, or what you could see, was the mechanism and how small the unit was. Yeah, it was one of the smallest, or the smallest unit I've ever seen attached to a rig. Yeah, and that's important, because when you compare it to the wheels that it will be compared to, some of them are monsters. Now, yes, they are. The laser cannon. <laughs> Speaking of laser cannon, we're talking about the ECCI. We did a small piece on that. And the Frex, we've done, we've seen that wheel and, and test driven that. And that's where this wheel is gonna fall into category-wise or mm -hmm. price-wise. Now, don't they don't have a price yet. So if you're wondering how much this wheel is gonna be, they're not sure yet because again, that enclosure's not done, the buttons, the paddles, and all that stuff. So, but still, that's its competition, so that should give you a kind of a an idea. Hint. Of, yeah, right around where they're going to be. They didn't even tell us. They didn't even have a price for us, and we did talk about it with them, but they weren't ready to give a date of when it's going to be done because they want it to be right, mm -hmm. and they don't have a price. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking about being right, why are these guys building this wheel? <laughs> they want something that's bulletproof and that'll beat the competition. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. That'll outperform the competition. And man, I gotta say, and why don't you comment on it right after this too? They are on the right track. They are definitely on the right track. And I mean the, the thing about it, we can call it prototype and talk about what it didn't have all day long, but that was a fully functioning wheel with, in my opinion, I don't see where you'd start improving what we were working with. Yeah, uh, you know, funny thing is about that wheel, and we'll get into some specs about it really quick, but I just want to say something, you know, this is the first time I've ever driven a sim wheel, and I, it may have been partially due to the fact that we were driving this full stage five racing sim, uh, full motion. Man, I was, first of all, sweating. <laughs> I got shots of you sweating, you yeah. had beads coming <laughs> off that head. Um, and I know I was sweating at points because I know my hands were sweating. Actually, I have a new ring on my finger and I think I actually bruised my hand a little bit to the squeezing on it. To the forces, because of the forces that this wheel is generating and not fake forces or jolts. It yeah. was smooth torque. Yes. Anyway, this is the first time I've ever felt like I needed driving gloves. Did you, did, could you have driven that thing with driving gloves and felt comfortable? Oh, absolutely, because again, you're getting those kind of feelings and you're gripping that thing like a man. I mean, you're gripping it like you're racing a car. You have it. to, no offense to women. And, yeah. and there's some women sim racers out there that may be watching well, this. Well, Danica grips like a man. Yeah, that's so, true. So there you go. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, anybody that is considering this wheel, you better think about working out a little bit. It's going to work you out, that's for sure. But I think... As it's we sit it's here going to be tailorable. Well, and we're talking about a tremendous amount of force feedback, but it, this wheel is going to make you use new words to define some things that we've talked about for a long time in sim racing. But yes, the force feedback is so strong, but if you were to turn other wheels I can think of up to the strength that you're in the ballpark, they just don't move the same way. It gets coggy, too. You just yes, don't, that's the word. You don't get that the smooth transition. So let's get a little bit more into this. Uh, they are currently using uh, the force feedback algorithms or output that's coming out of the, the game and with their firmware. Mm -hmm. Eventually it's going to be dialed into Sim Commander, their mm -hmm. software, and you're going to be able to dial in every effect on that wheel to tell it what to do. Now let's talk about degrees of rotation. So we asked the question. Yeah. What, what's going to be the max degrees of rotation? You know, Thrustmaster behind us, 1080. Logitech, 900. Mm -hmm. Fanatics, 900. They tell us inf infinite. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, there is no lock <laughs> if you want it that way. So we're like, oh, so you could like bus drive in the thing if you want to. Sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. But then they have a software mm -hmm. lock, so you can lock it at any degrees of rotation that you want. Now, did you slam it on the lock? Oh, yeah. I, I have never felt a lock that was like a that. A soft lock? Yeah. That was the hardest soft lock I've ever felt. It, that is the way to describe it. It is the hardest soft lock. You are stopped, but it didn't feel like you hit metal to metal. That's basically what it was. Yep. Let's talk about the motor. Okay. You're a little bit more familiar with brushless motors and that yeah. stuff. So. This is actually a custom designed brushless motor. So, I mean, Bernie went through many, many versions of the motor looking for the right torque, the right speed, the right package. And then you're talking about a direct wheel bolted onto the motor. So you have no belt to slip or get slack. No gears. No gears to wind or, or grind or anything like that. Or and lose forces through that transmission. Exactly, it's just one-to-one -one and there's no flex in it because of that. And you're talking about the highest refresh rate that you can get out of a wheel, which is a thousand hertz, which honestly, it's above my head when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, it is above my head. To just to relate, we asked like, what does a G27 have? And it only is basically transmitting data at 250 hertz. Mm -hmm. So you're getting a little bit of a, it's not a one-to-one, -one, as close to one-to-one. -one. Right. A thousand hertz, is getting it close to one to one. Yeah. Some other things that we found out, iRacing's got one of these. Their force feedback guru, David Tucker's got one of these wheels. He's mm -hmm. working with Sim Experience to get things dialed in. So some really great things coming from Sim Experience and iRacing. And, and we also tried it with R Factor 2. Right. That felt incredible. Amazing. Amazing. You know, some of the effects that we Bernie told us, go over a rumple strip and feel how it ramps up the rumple strip. And that was a and so we did it. I was just driving around the track slow, both in R Factor and mm -hmm. R Factor mm -hmm. 2 and iRacing, and I was getting that sensation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's talk about that sensation and why I love driving with this wheel. But, like, yes, tremendous force feedback. But, like, when you're coming out of a corner and you're sideways, despite the amount of force feedback, it's so easy to find the balance point of the car. I was going to say center. It's not center. It's the point of catching the car. Yes. And, and, and it's a very drivable force feedback. And I think mean, about it, we have any, we were just dialing whatever setup they had for that particular car, that track. You know, I think Bernie told us, touch the, we're above where the motor was. Right. After we were driving it for hours. I, I was expecting to be able to like, it was gonna burn my hand or something. You couldn't even tell it was running. No, exactly, you didn't even know it was on. I mean, so, it was like room temperature. Yeah, no heating issues at all for this wheel. Another thing, it's connected to their Sim Experience 3000, I, be I believe it's like a motion controller box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what's running it separately and then they've got, so it is a bigger unit, but again, you don't have all of that on your Yeah, that's chassis. not what you have to mount on your chassis. Yep. So, what's the best wheel you've ever tried? Um, this is the only wheel I've ever tried that, that would even come close to that. I mean, this wheel isn't even a sim wheel. It feels like, okay, I remember when they, I heard that the Corvette was fly-by-wire. To me, this kind of like, is this what they put in the Corvette? I mean, I don't know. It isn't. Don't get me wrong here. But it just feels like this wasn't even made to be a sim product. Like, we just got lucky enough that GM or somebody gave us something to play with. Yeah, I'm kind of mad that Bernie had us come now because now I don't, I love my Thrustmaster, you know, but, oh, well, speaking of which, Thrustmaster runs at 500 hertz. So, he spoiled us, man. That yeah. wheel is, it's amazing. It is by far the best wheel I've ever tried. And I haven't had, I probably had equal amount of time in an ECCI and a Frex, probably more time even in a Frex to make that comparison, but nothing has felt like this again i need i felt like i could use driving gloves i think i've even said you know when an ecci or frex incredible wheels if you're rich oh, absolutely they'd be great to have but do you need them it's like no no you're fine with your t5 now it's like oh like i, I said new definitions that's what this wheel's about save new up definitions. yeah save up for an acu for speaking of which it's only going to be compatible with the pc if you're wondering you know uh Actually, we did talk to those guys about PS4 and Xbox One, so there could be future compatibility with their equipment on those consoles, but right now, PC only. So anything else before we wrap it up, Sean? No, but like you said it, hint it, say, start saving up your money, because when word gets out, when these are out and people are getting them, it's everybody is going to want to get one. And so again, that's a little over my price range, so I am going to start saving, collecting cans, Redemption value, I'll get me a wheel. Whatever we can do. Yeah, and I'd like to thank the guys at Sim Experience for bringing us to to, uh, to Ohio to check out their rig, their chassis, their full motion simulator, and this AccuForce wheel, which is just, it, man, the competition's gonna be shaking in their boots, because yeah. it's, 
it's an incredible piece of equipment. So again, thanks to those guys. That's going to wrap up our show. Check out our other pieces on our Sim Experience adventure at our site, isrtv.com. For Sean Cole, I'm Darren Ganji. We'll see you guys next time.